Hi everyone, I'm Tracy. Welcome to today's video. So I have another foundation comparison slash review and today it's going to be of the Laura Mercier Weightless Perfecting Foundation. So this came out recently and I instantly was interested because I um, for a long time I only wore Laura Mercier Foundation, the Silk Cream Full Coverage luminous foundation but um since then i've tried so many others but um just the the description really caught my eye so it's supposed to be luminous it has skincare ingredients it's a medium coverage but also a long wear and so i've been wearing this all week and i i feel like those claims are all all true it is a long wearing foundation so just letting you guys know it's a little bit more difficult to remove at the end of the day it's not super luminous but you know what let me just get this on so you guys can see what i'm talking about and i've i always try to do a side by side with a foundation that i feel is kind of similar to this one and of all the foundations i have i feel like the nars light reflecting light reflecting foundation is the closest as far as the claims the way it wears the coverage the the level of luminosity so i'm going to put the nars on this side and the laura mercier on this side and i haven't done the side by side but i, I feel like these shades are fairly or really close to each other and with the shade it actually took me um a little bit to find the right shade i normally buy a neutral tone but with this particular foundation the th so there was one the three and one which is medium neutral was way too dark and then the two and one was too light so um, the very lovely woman at Sephora helped me find this shade it's 2w2 warm linen so it's a warm undertone light medium and this one works really well so let me put a little bit on this palette side by side and show you guys how they kind of look so the middle this one is the nars the middle um, little divot and then the right or the left for you guys is the laura mercier so here's a nars they're fairly similar in like how runny they are, but the NARS is a little bit more uh, thinner. The formula is thinner. So let me get some of this hair out of the way. And spoiler, I, I really like it. I've been wearing it since the weekend. So maybe, um, maybe four or five days. So I'm going to do, I'm going to try to keep everything the same. I'm going to use a different foundation brush, but I'm going to use the Ehoto LQ3 and the Yuki Takashima foundation brush. Um, I'll use them on one on each side. They're very similar. So trying to keep everything kind of equal here. So here's the Laura Mercier. And an interesting fact, NARS and Laura Mercier are made or owned by Shiseido so they're they're under a Japanese brand like umbrella company So it doesn't like cover everything up, at least not for me, but it has, I would, yeah, I would say pretty solid medium coverage, which is now what I go for. I used to have to do full coverage because I want to cover up a lot, but I've been using like really good skincare and I feel like the spots have really lightened. So that's one layer. I'm gonna just put a little bit more so you guys can see how how it builds.
All right, and then I'm gonna switch to the NARS on this side. I, I do think the, um, I have the NARS Light Reflecting in the shade Santa Fe, which is my, a good match for me. I always buy NARS foundations in the shade Santa Fe, which is considered a neutral undertone. And the first time I got the NARS Light Reflecting, I did not like it because it, where for me it just it doesn't have enough coverage but I'm almost done with it and the reason is it's a really good mixing foundation it mixes really well like if you want to if you have like a thicker foundation and you want to kind of thin it out it's a good one to mix I mix it with the NARS naturally long wear A radiant long wear. Okay, so here's the NARS. So I think they look very, very similar with the shade and the finish. And I'm going to put just a little bit more on the NARS side. And it wouldn't be a surprise if these are very, very similar because, because they're both owned by Shiseido. I'm guessing they have access to the same materials and the same technology. better or worse and I'm gonna use the Koyuto Yoshiki face brush I think that's a little too bright to kind of press this all in and so it's clean but this is not gonna get that dirty Okay, so hair off. So this is how it looks like with no powder, just on its own. I think they look the same. The NARS is a little bit more luminous and the shade is a tad bit darker, but as I wear it, it'll kind of even out. And um, just from experience, the Laura Mercier is more long wearing. It wears a little better. Um, what that also means is it's a little bit more difficult to remove. So um, for me, I don't tend to use a long wear foundation just because I don't need my foundation to last like 10, 12 hours. I usually just need it to last maybe six to seven hours and I prefer it to be a little bit easier to remove. So those, that's my preference. So the Laura Mercier, I don't know if it's gonna be like an everyday foundation for me. It might be for like days where I have to be outside for a long time and I need it to kind of, you know, stay together a little better. But um, from what I can see, they both look really, really nice. So, um, I'm gonna do, I'll show you guys one more time. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup off camera. All right, so I'm done with my makeup and I can't tell the difference between the two sides. I, I feel like my makeup applied similarly, you know, between the both, the two sides and I can't tell a difference. Um, Again, maybe the NARS is a little bit more luminous. So NARS is on this side, Laura Mercier is on this side. But, you know, after you put everything on, I have highlighter on. 
I really don't think you can tell. I didn't put any um, additional concealer aside from under my eyes. So this is the coverage. I have um, sunspots on both sides. So I think they covered them equally as well. I'm not sure, but I think they both look great. The only thing that I would say from having used this foundation for the past, you know, four or five days is the Laura Mercier wears a little better. It, you know, after six, seven hours, it's not breaking up. I feel like the NARS, it's, it wears down a little faster, uh, but then again, it's not claiming to be a long wear foundation. And I think they're both great. And I, I did not like this at first, but I'm almost completely done with this. And I'll, I'll probably buy another one because it mix, mixes so well with other foundations that I'm trying to kind of thin out the consistency. The Laura Mercier, I've tried that with, um, I think I've mixed this with this. It doesn't mix very well mainly because the consistency and the fact that it's a long wear formula. I noticed um, those types of formulas don't mix as well. So I would say if you are going to get this one, you know, definitely get the shade that matches you perfectly because, you know, adding something lighter or darker might make it go on uneven. So that's what I experienced. Um, other information, the packaging is, is very, very luxurious, very nice. It's got like a frosted glass bottle and the pump is very nice. A lot of the Laura Mercier foundations are not like that. I used a tube from Laura Mercier for a long time. So it's kind of nice to have this, maybe not as good to travel with, but um, I would say it's a little better than the NARS because you see the NARS gets so dirty. This one might, I guess. So I'm not saying this is not going to get dirty, but this one, it just, it feels a little bit more luxurious than the NARS. But um, my conclusion is it's a really great formula. I highly recommend the Laura Mercy Foundation. I highly recommend going in store and getting a shade match because this is not a shade I would have picked online. So um, yeah, those are my final thoughts. If at the end of today, I notice like a big difference in the wear, I will check in later, but I think they're both great. So that's really all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.